Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hello and welcome. My name is Savannah and I would really like for you to hit that subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. So before we get started today, I am going to be sharing with you my success story with Clomid. I know that when I was about to start this treatment, these were the types of videos that gave me hope when I was feeling so down and out, when I was feeling like a failure as a woman, because of my diagnosis and these videos gave me so much hope so if you're interested in seeing what I have to say and how my story went make sure you keep watching okay so before I even get into the nitty-gritty of my success story I just first want to say that I was diagnosed with PCOS and um, that was the alternative that my doctor had given me. He said we would try three rounds of Clomid and I only did one round and my baby hit and I'm just so grateful for that. Um, some back information, I'm 27 years old and me and my husband had been trying actively to have a baby for six to seven months. I forget how many cycles it was, but when you want to have a baby it doesn't matter if it's taking eight nine three years four years when you want to have a baby you want to have a baby now so um yeah i was just down and out i lied to my doctor that i had been trying for a whole year um but luckily he was able to see me at the six month mark we did all my tests came back that I had PCOS and that was the treatment that the doctor had given me. So before I even took the decision to take the Clomid pill, I know that I did tons and tons and tons of research. I researched Clomid, I researched the side effects, I also researched Letrozole because they have those two pills that you can choose from, but I guess my doctor felt safer working with Clomid since he's, you know, I'm not the first person that he's done this with so um after the six month mark i just told jonathan my husband that i just wanted to go to the doctor i wanted to basically get a physical see if everything was okay with me and we did um and it turned out that i had pcos and my doctor basically told me that I needed to change my lifestyle i needed to start taking metformin and just so much devastating news and things I didn't want to hear as I was trying to conceive and um, I was just so desperate that when the doctor said hey we could try this little magic pill and hopefully it'll make you ovulate and if you ovulate you have more chance of getting pregnant so I know that there is so much controversy on you know people getting pregnant with a pill and people getting pregnant naturally um, I didn't care honestly that was like the least of my worries I just wanted to make sure that my body was ovulating and if I could take a pill to help me ovulate that was what I was going to do so basically the doctor gave me Clomid and he started me on the lowest dose I'm not I don't really remember how much it was but it's like the basic dose it's just one pill and I took that pill for five days and let me see hold on because i have it written here when i took it and i don't want to give you guys any false information on when i took that pill i took it cycle day five through nine and oh my god the clomid made me feel a type of way when i tell you that nobody told me to take that clomid pill at night um, I was taking it during the day. I was getting um, hot flashes. I was getting anxiety. I was just getting the jitters. I swear that it was such a weird feeling. As soon as I started taking the Clomid, my body just felt so much different. My nipples were sensitive. Like my body was just going AWOL. Okay. And let me see if I wrote down if I had any symptoms. I didn't really write down if I had any symptoms or not like when I was taking Clomid but I know that I did take it for five days and throughout those five days like I said I wasn't really feeling myself but luckily that was the month that I conceived and as I was doing the Clomid since I had never ovulated before I had always done the OPKs I was never able to get a positive OPK 
I said, John, if I'm gonna be doing this treatment and putting my uterus and my ovaries in danger, I'm gonna go ahead and use the OPKs, even though my doctor told me not to use the OPKs because it was just gonna stress me out even more. I still wanted to use those OPKs because John spent a lot of money on that medicine and I didn't wanna put something inside of my body that wasn't going to work but was going to cause harm. So I still use the OPKs and after I finished my round of Clomid, I started using those OPKs and it was so fun to see the line progress. Like I swear that when I got my first positive OPK, it was just like this big show. I literally showed John the positive OPK and I didn't get a positive until, let me see. Um, so I finished Clomid on cycle day 9 and then I got a positive OPK. I don't think I wrote it down. Let me check on my pre-mom app when I got my positive OPK. But I know that I think I ovulated on cycle day 15 because it wasn't I thought I was gonna say uh, I thought I was gonna ovulate on cycle day 14 like everybody does but no I actually ovulated on cycle day 15 and I was already giving up because on cycle day 14 the line was just really not showing up but then I tested on cycle day 15 later that day a time that I don't even test and the line came out super positive. I just remember that I told John that I was ovulating. Babe, remember when I ovulated and I was so excited? Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, so I ovulated and then, um, and then so we baby danced. And I was, before I got a positive OPK, I was baby dancing every other day. Every other day, every other day, every other day. And then as soon as I got my positive, we were baby dancing every single day. And I kept taking OPKs just because I wanted to see how high my, I forget what the level is called, the HG level was. I just wanted to see how high it was and I wanted to make sure that it went back down. And sure enough, the levels went back down and like I could confirm that I ovulated because never in my life have I gotten a positive OPK. So um, that's how that went and then it was just a waiting game. And I decided to take my pregnancy test nine days post ovulation just because I was anxious. I was filming and writing this all down for you guys because I, I literally wanted to sit down and make a video if I didn't conceive that month. So I tested on 9DPO and the only symptoms that I had was the sore nipples. But that really wasn't a red flag to me yet because as soon as I started taking the Clomid that first day my nipples were sore so since cycle day five through nine days um, post ovulation my, my nipples were sore and that was just something that I thought went along with the Clomid I thought that it would go away and that was the only symptom I had as far as like physically. I know that after I started drinking Clomid from what I read, it said like you should drink more water and it just helps the Clomid process through your body faster. So I was drinking a lot of water. Mind you, because I was diagnosed with PCOS, I started doing a diet and eating healthier, working out. And I feel like all of that contributed to me conceiving because I made like a complete lifestyle change as well as took the clomid so i feel like both of them clashed and i was just drinking so much more water so mixed with the sore boobs and the frequent urination um those were the only symptoms that i had i still wasn't feeling tired yet i felt like my normal self so i knew that there was a risk at taking a test at nine days post ovulation that it could still come back negative and I would still be pregnant. But I said, look, I see other women because I was in all of the group. I was in all of the group, like the Facebook groups on the women trying to conceive. And some people were getting positives at eight days post ovulation, nine days, 10 days. So I, was, so I said, you know what? I'm nine days. Let me just go ahead and test. You know, I have nothing to lose. So that day I wasn't even going to record um, me taking my pregnancy test, but I was like, because I am filming this for you guys and bringing you guys along on my journey, I decided to 
pull the camera out and luckily that day I found out that I was pregnant and it was just such a surreal moment for me after I found out that I was pregnant I waited one day to tell my husband and after that I took like a total of like 30 pregnancy tests after that like I just kept taking pregnancy test after pregnancy test after pregnancy test and I have a whole other video of the medications that I was taking in um, my PCOS video so if you're interested in seeing that I'll link it up here for you um, but yeah that was basically how my Clomid success story went I took the pill for five days and it just worked for me I'm so lucky I know that for not a lot of women it happens like that and trust me I'm extremely grateful I am just over the moon I'm 17 weeks and six days now and I still cannot believe that I'm pregnant I haven't felt the baby move I feel as if when I start feeling the baby move I'll be able to really comprehend that I'm pregnant like I do show a bit but it just looks like I had a big lunch um, but yeah that is my little success story on Clomid I hope that whoever is watching this video I hope that this video gives you some type of comfort if this is going to be your first treatment and even if the first treatment doesn't work for you you always have the second and third treatment and um, if you guys do conceive on your first cycle or your second or third round of Clomid please go ahead and let me know I will be praying for you I'm sending you all the baby dust you're not alone we're all here and um, you know I'm just sending you all the positive vibes I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you've taken Clomid before, I'm interested in hearing your story. So leave me some comments down below. So that is my little success story. I hope that you guys found some type of comfort. I'm sorry, John is down here making a bunch of noise while I'm trying to finish the video off. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it gives you some type of comfort. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave me some comments down below. If you have any experience with Clomid, leave me some comments down below. I'm interested in seeing how your journey went. Um, give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks.